Welcome to another exciting edition of Million Dollar Peddlers. I'm Paper Guy. And I'm Mr. Magazine. And to anybody new to the channel, every Saturday we try to bring you bolo videos. Um, we acquire our things different ways. Uh, a lot of people come in and sell you things, you buy collections out, all that sort of thing. I tend to hit the fleas and the estate sales. So show you what's good out there and some things you might be able to find out there and some things you may never have thought of selling. And why don't you take it away, Mr. Magazine? All right. First up, here we go. This was from that uh, toy deal that I purchased uh, the Barbies from. Uh, this is a G.I. Joe lot that I decided to sell ads a lot because I'm not an expert as far as which guy is Russian, Japanese, so forth, and what they're supposed to be wearing. So we said, let's just lot them out. Still got pretty good money, 300 bucks. Yep, and anybody, uh, we have a Bolo video coming up where uh, Mr. Magazine showed some Barbie items that he ended up selling as well. So it was a pretty good uh, vintage toy deal that he ended up yep. getting. Can't complain. Next up, oh, this is what we got going on. Oh, this is great. So we mentioned a couple weeks ago, I bought a ton of these Thundercats, and they were sitting in a, a box, and I sold one for 50, two for 50, three for 50, and I'm like, something's going on. We put this up. This is a raw Thundercats one, 306 bucks. And I sold one just the other week, uh, water damaged along the top for like $8 on Amazon. I know oh, what huh? I'm doing, Yeah, not too but bad. it was really bad shape, yeah. so I'm more than happy True. to get that out of it. Yeah, but, I mean, I've been selling mine for 200 usually, and this one was 306 so must be a high grade to them. I, I personally pulled out the top six that I thought were the highest grade to get graded. Uh, we will see. Nice. All right. All right, this one just sold. A um, lot of six. This is from the uh, storage deal. Um Six boxes, uh, cello football from 1990. You almost said cello. <laughs> yeah, yeah, almost, almost. But yeah, these were going for like 60-something bucks a piece, so can't argue with that. Nice. And who was yeah. in that set? Uh, Jeff George rookie. Oh. Yes. Oh, you didn't say <laughs> Jeff George rookie was in it. Uh, the usual guys, no major rookies. I think, you know, Bo Jackson, Barry Sanders, Ahmed, Montana. You know, no key rookie cards by any means. Nice. So, And you'll see them out there. They are pretty common. The cellos are a little harder to get. But the, still, so that was still 144 good. packs? Total, yes. No, 144 yeah, packs. So yeah, still yeah. almost yeah. two bucks a pack. Yeah, can't argue with and that. And something that was junk wax. Right. Yeah, for sure. To me, it still is, but yeah. All right, this finally sold. Uh, these are the ones, these are exclusive. You can only buy these from WWE online. Women's the, Championship. It's the real deal of belts. They're full size, 1 1 scale. You know, you can wear them if you want and you oh. know, collect them, get them autographed, whatever. And I think they sell for 300 if you get them direct from them. This one I took like a 210 offer on it. So uh, it's very cool, though. Now, um, where did you get something like that? Uh, I got a customer that buys them. Gets bored of them and then sells them to me. Now, when he buys them, he buys them. He pays full price on through thing, yeah. uh, through their website. Yeah, oh, okay. Maybe, yep. Okay. And uh, they come with sleeves. I don't think I had the sleeve to this, so the sleeves actually are worth money. Do not throw them out. Or if you see the empty sleeve somewhere, buy them because we sold a lot. I think I remember back in the day for twenty bucks a sleeve or something like that. Wow. It was crazy. Yeah. Now, are they branded sleeves or? No, it's just like a, I don't know, kind of like almost like a velvet, you know, oh, wow. pouch. Yeah. Okay. Crazy. All right, here we go. Another G.I. Joe from the deal. Uh, this was a talking one who did not speak so clearly. Um, <laughs> I think we matched up the, the outfit. You know, regardless if we did or didn't, they know what they're getting, and it went for 250 So 1970, and those are the larger size <clears throat> yep. ones, not the three and three quarter. 12-inch styles, yeah. 12-inch right? Yeah, the so, astronaut. Nice. Yeah. So, I mean, you'll see these out there in rough shape. You, you may not who's who, but it looks like he's got kung fu grip as well. But uh, He came with the box? Yeah, like. yeah. Yep. 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 Nice. Yeah. And lastly here, um, this is a giant He-Man exclusive. Um, his name is Zodak. Uh, I think he's like, he's literally oh, close to two feet tall the, oh. with the packaging. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's pretty cool. <laughs> um, it had a crease across it. Um, went for 246 bucks. They're very hard to find. Uh, we had He-Man. We had a bunch of different ones. And, uh, you know, you may not find many of these out there. If you do, definitely jump on them. Now, how were those distributed? Were they exclusive the, or were yeah, they, they at were, the stores? Uh, Maddie exclusive, I think, just at the uh, Maddie. You had to mail, mail away for Mail away. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Very so cool. Very nice. Yeah. So the first one I have here is very, very boring, but I'm going <laughs> to... <laughs> Thank you for the warning. <laughs> the dark is light enough playbill. Now, I've had this up since 2012. I bring it up for one reason and one reason alone. I recently purchased some playbills, uh, some actually pretty good playbills from the 1930s. And I listed them, and none of them sold, but I did the usual list them at auction kind of deal. Mm -hmm. Somebody from Canada 
ended up buying eight playbills, uh, many of which I've had listed since 2010, 2012. <laughs> they found them because of the new listings. Mm, nice. No doubt at all about that, because why, why, you know, this has sat for, you know, almost 10 years. Nobody's yeah. wanted it. These other ones have sat for eight to 10 years. Nobody's wanted them. Right. All of a sudden, a gentleman comes through and finds eight of them. Now he made me offers, you know, probably eight dollars a piece, something rather like that. Mm -hmm. But generally speaking, I don't pay more than a dollar a piece on playbills. So even at that, I was making money on it. I think he yeah. paid sixty-four dollars plus shipping on the eight of them total. More than happy to move them on out to the gentleman because they're certainly not flying off the shelves. I mean, if it's been there since right. two thousand twelve. Yeah. But that just goes to show you that when you list something new. Uh, of something that you have others of, it right. does drive traffic to it. And that's the reason why I always list everything at auction and then list it into the store afterwards mm -hmm. because it gives you double exposure. You get exposure for the auction. People search on newly end, you know, ending auctions, right. so it gives you exposures there. Yeah. They search on newly listed into the store, it gives you exposure. So it's actually three exposures. And in the playbill category, I don't think I'm paying anything to list at auction. If I am, it's 15 cents. Not a big deal one way or the other. Right. Ended up spurring these sales. So that's why I swear by that method. And I know you do as well. Sure, absolutely. Um, yeah. The American National Game of Baseball Courier Knives uh, print, uh, it is framed. Now, you've seen that probably a million times, that uh, Courier Knives oh, yeah. uh, thing. I mean, it's very, very mm -hmm. common. I saw it at a sale. I think it was... Five dollars, two dollars, something like, it snows like that. Brown. It looks like it's snowing brown snowballs. <laughs> you could <laughs> just rain. tell it was older on it. Uh, I think I ended up taking thirty-five dollars on it. Paid five dollars on it. Is not the kind of thing that I usually deal in. But again, I knew it was old. They've reprinted it many, many times throughout the years. Turned five dollars into thirty-five. I cannot nice. argue with yep. that. Um, just something other than I happened to be at a sale and I saw it, caught my eye, and, and, and listed it. Um, I believe, yeah, there's the back of it there explaining exactly what it was, which actually makes it a lot easier as well because I just searched on that as opposed right. to having to do any yeah. other search on it. So uh, always look on the back of the frame things. You'd be surprised. I am not changing my view. Oh, jeez. <laughs> a few bolos ago I said, do not buy punch magazines. They do not sell. Don't you know somebody bought three of them? They bought this and two others. Is that a leprechaun? Uh, that would be the... Great Prince Charles. Oh, jeez. Okay. <laughs> My bad. I am not, you know, you know what Prince Charles said when I was talking to him? He said, I'm all ears. Yeah. Anyway, um, I'm not changing my view. Do not buy punch magazines, even though I sold three of them. And I am not telling people. You just not, want to corner the market. I was just going to say, I'm not telling you that because I want to corner the market. They don't sell. They're not worth buying. And then I go and sell more of them. So I guess it just shows that if you've got a lot of something or other up, they are going to sell at some point. I think point. you have a fan or a follower that wants to prove you wrong. <laughs> well, prove me completely wrong. Playbills do not sell. Buy them all. Buy them all. <laughs> Next thing we have over here. Is fill it up. You know, I've got a bit of a problem with counting. Uh, Philadelphia Savings Fund Society Bank Ruler Lot of Five Flexible. Actually, there were five, and I'm going to tell you why. Invisible one. <laughs> I listed it. I bought these as part of a lot of other stuff. Going through the box, found four of them. Listed a lot of four. Later on, I found a fifth one. I said, "What am I going to do with the fifth one?" Right. So I just took it, changed the lot to five. More than happy to get rid of them. I think I took twelve dollars on them. This is not the kind of thing I normally deal in. Um, when I purchased the lot, I didn't pay anything for them. There were other pieces of ephemera in there that I said, oh, these are good, these are good, these are good. This just happened to be there. I said, what am I going to possibly do with these rulers? Threw right. them all on and ended up getting money out of it. More than happy because I think for the whole pile of ephemera, I paid like $25. I got almost half my money out of something that I did put no value whatsoever on. Right, right. So that's the beauty of buying big lots is you can end up making your money off stuff that means absolutely nothing to you. Um, this next thing over here, you're going to be, I think, surprised at what I ended up getting out of it. And... Sea and Stars comic strip. This literally is cut out of the Sunday paper. Mm -hmm. I took $15 on it. If I told you that I was able to get $15 out of a comic strip cut out of the paper, not the whole comic section, right. one Just comic one strip, strip. and the guy ended up buying three different. So he ended up paying $45 for three different ones. Wow. 
I don't know where I got these from. They were just a throw in some deal because I must have gotten 75 of these. And one day I just found them and I said, I'm going to bite the bullet and mm -hmm. I'm going to list these. Yeah. Because I looked online and, and they do sell usually for $6 a piece. Mm -hmm. But those are poor listings. Yeah. So I would list them at $20 a piece. You know, and this has got Ingrid Bergman, Veronica Lake. They've all got various movie stars on them. Mm -hmm. If nobody else has that up and somebody's collecting in, you know, Ingrid Bergman, they're going to pay me $15 for it yeah. because nobody else has it <clears> up. <throat> so don't be afraid to ask more than anybody else is asking on stuff. Because they might be asking $5 a piece on them, but if they don't have the specific one that you have, it right. doesn't do anybody any good. Hmm. Um, next thing we have over here, I saw this at a sale, and I could not believe that it had sat through to the end of the sale. Wow, very cool. Paid, well, I think softcover books were a dollar because it was the last day. I think I paid 50 cents oh on it. Oh, my gosh. I took $33 <clears throat> offer on it. Very, very happy with that. Yeah. Just a nice thing over here. Put a bunch of different pictures up. I know it has... Uh, I believe that's Chuck Norris right there, believe it or not. Ooh, if I can bring that picture up. Or Bruce Lee. Oh, there it is. Yeah, Chuck Norris back in the old days, yeah. too. Nice. Um, just picture after picture of, of Bruce Lee. His stuff always sells, just always sells. So it's just a, a neat little magazine that was just kind of hiding out. Uh, I don't know if it's a magazine so much as a book. It's one of those in-between things, magazine size, right. but no, no advertisements or anything, so it yeah. can go media mail. Cool. Just one of those little things that you might find out there, and now you know it goes for $33. Um, next thing we have over here, International Cub Cadet. Now, the person did make me an offer on it that I did take, um, and I know you and I disagree about taking offers on auctions. I couldn't find anything like this, but if you take a look, it's not the greatest of condition. It's got some stains on it. I think I noted in there some writing in the back cover, et cetera, et cetera. Mm -hmm. um, picked this up at the estate sale that you attended with me. Okay. I think I paid a dollar for it, maybe $2 for it, something like that. Nice. I put it up uh, just on, on a wing and a prayer for twenty eight twenty one, and the person did make me an offer of $28. <laughs> I said, you know, as much as I could use 21 cents, yeah. I think I'll take the $28 sure. offer on it. Um, but this is literally just a, a, I believe it's an eight page brochure. Uh, you can find these things out there. Uh, pick them up. People do collect this kind of thing. Guy probably has them. I know some people still use these kind of things to mow their own lawns and all that sort of thing. Yeah. International Harvester also is another uh, uh, selling point on it. So very, very happy. Put up some multiple pictures on it and... Um, one of those tires looks a little bit goofy there. Well, I don't know if that's going to run real well. I'm having a big hole in the middle of the tire. <laughs> um, next thing we have over here, Mr. Tweedy by Ned Riddle. Picked up a lot of these at Heritage. Um, paid right on them. And it's actually kind of funny. The psychiatrist, I mean, you can read the joke yourself there. But he's talking to his client about being an adult. And meanwhile, he's wearing the arrow through the head. <laughs> and he's wearing the uh, Groucho Marx. Definitely listed Groucho Marx on it because the Groucho Marx style uh, glasses right over there. Yeah, that's um, funny. You, know, you need to approach your problem in a more mature way as a full-fledged adult. Uh, took 40, I believe I got the full $44. If not, I got like 40, something other like mm -hmm. that out of it. It is original art, one of a kind. I'm sure the person's probably a huge Groucho Marx fan. Yeah. And it's, you know, it's something other on there, but I didn't pay $40 for all of them. So I right. did pretty well on it. It's one of those few things I was able to steal at Heritage and quite happy with. Cool. And the last thing we have over here, Randall's Island Jazz Festival. Took a hundred dollar offer on it. Wow, nice. You see these things out <clears throat> there, uh, People give these things away. They really do. They ask $25, $30 on it. I do not understand that. For Just don't understand why you would sell this for $25 to $30. Now, it's got you know Gene Krupp. It's got Miles Davis, G Dizzy Gillespie. Put up Old lots culture. of pictures. Nice. You know, note all. You know, I, I showed the entire lineup on it, uh, various pictures about it. You know, I think I, I used all 12 pictures. Just picture after picture out there, and I'm getting $100 out of it where my competition is selling this kind of thing for $30, $35 because they're underpricing mm, it. Right. Don't underprice your things. Take the time. Put the extra picture up. It, you know, how long? Well, we use the Caesar scanner, um, and, and we don't try to push things to anybody. But if you look down at our videos, uh, the little write-up on it, we've got a little affiliate link down below to uh, Amazon where we, you can purchase a Caesar scanner. We're going to do a video at some point about it. It is such a time saver, and it really, you know, 
it really does save a lot of time. Mm -hmm. There is no way I would have put up this many pictures back in the old day until I had it. And, and that's right. a bit of a hard sell. We don't usually do that. But do check it out. It is a life changer. And anybody that does have uh, Caesar, I mean, you've got multiple. Yeah. They really do make these kind of pictures so possible to do so quickly. Um, just amazing. And I got $100 out of this item. Yeah. Not solely because of the Caesar scanner, right. but because I'm willing to take more pictures because they're so quick to do. Yeah. So take the multiple pictures. Take the extra pictures and ask price on things. This is worth a lot more than $30. I mean, it's from 1961. Sure. It's 60 years old. Yep. They're not making them anymore. It's got Miles Davis. It's got Gene Krupa. It's got Dizzy Gillespie. It's got John Coltrane. It's got all of these stars out there, and yet people take $30 on it. Right. That's, that's insane to me. Um, so no value when you see it, and don't get suckered into charging a low price because everybody else is. Right. Highlight the value and you'll be very, very surprised. Um, do comment down below um, about any finds that you may have had. Uh, do note if anything that we show, if you're able to find it out there in a while, we definitely love to hear stories like that. Uh, hit the like button if you could, um, and subscribe if you haven't already. And we will see you next video. Take care. Bye-bye.